this is our new red Linkia starfish. As you can tell from perspective, it's not that big yet. They do get about six to seven inches uh, from arm tip to arm tip. I've heard of some of them getting bigger and in the wild, um, you know, probably so. Uh, easy to keep starfish. Not as easy as the um, chocolate chip starfish. They don't have the same tendency to take meaty foods from you, but they do a pretty good job fending for themselves. Um, I would only recommend them for a mature tank, because part of what they eat is the biofilm, um, the edible detritus that gets on stuff. So if you don't have a mature tank, they're just not going to have enough of that stuff to to eat. It's a good starfish. Um, usually cost around $14, $15, so not a whole lot. It's always a good idea when you're dealing with invertebrates, especially sensitive ones like um, echinoderms, um, starfish, uh, sea urchins, that sort of thing, that you acclimate them for um, a good long period of time with a drip acclimation system. Um, I did this guy for two and a half hours um, and he transferred in the tank just just awesome. They're really a lot of fun. Starfish are probably among my favorite things to have in a tank next to tuxedo urchins but things like the Linkia or um, chocolate chip starfish are so much easier to keep.